everyone. This is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mamma. This is day two of the 12 days of Christmas, where I'll be sharing with you different gift ideas and home decor. And check out the description box below for other links to other videos. Anyway, let's get started. For day two for my project, I made a, a, a making, in the process of making coasters. This is made from a napkin, for a Christmas napkin that a friend of mine had given to me, and a, a tile, just a plain tile, and also a cork piece for it, specifically made to make co coasters out of. So we're making a four-piece four piece coaster set, if I can say it right. So anyway, this one's all done, ready to go. So the first step that you need is that you need to cut out, this napkin had the two images, it had deer, and it had the Santa Claus on it. So I cut out the four sections, the two deer and the two Santa Claus. And what you do after that is that you take and tear off the back, the backing of your napkin, which I cut all four out first before I tore individual uh, backing off, because to me it was just easier. So anyway, I did tore that off. I've already done that. And so the next thing that I did is I decided I wanted to, where I wanted to place it, and it doesn't have to be exactly the same as what my other one will be. So we want to go ahead and decide where we want this piece to be. So what I've got is a water pen, and I'm going to take my water pen, and I'm just going to kind of go around the edge of the coaster like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect because I don't really want to be perfect. As you can see, this is jagged edge, and I love this because it looks antique-ish, vintage, and I love that. So I'm just going around the coaster sides, making sure it gets wet so that I can tear it. The next thing I wanted to do is start tearing, just kind of using my finger here. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put some Mod Podge on. If I need to tear off a little bit more, I can while it's wet. The Mod Podge that is. And I'm using the Gloss Mod Podge. You can use just about any. This is what I had on hand, so this is what I'm using. And mine have, I usually clean with alcohol, the uh, tile. Okay. Put the lid back on. Take my little piece of napkin here, my piece that I want decorated on here. And once you get it on there, you can't adjust it so if you don't really like it you're just going to have to either do it over on another piece or you're going to have to just live with it and i don't mind the way this one came out because i can pull off more paper more napkin get it even or however way i want it because i like that jagged look to it take my thumb again And I'm pressing it down. And I don't mind that it has little creases into it on this one. The this set because I want it to look old and aged anyway. So that one is going to have to dry now. So lucky for you, you don't have to wait because I have the next step all ready to go. This one has been cured for a while. It's been drying. And as you can see, 
it's ready for my next step. And my next step is to go ahead and take a Distress Oxide ink. You can use any ink, but what I use is, this, is uh, Distress Oxide Walnut Stain. <clears throat> and I took the stain <clears throat> and I placed it all around the edge. And I'm going to go up a little more. Oops, too far again. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking this, and I'm just going around the edge of my picture because, again, I'm going for that aged look. And I'm taking it and using this dauber, and I'm just kind of going around in circles with it. And if you see in pieces that are uh, kind of strays, you can pull them off. Now, the thing that is with this is that, yes, I've got this aged look on here, but this paper right now, it's only in the second stage, and that means that, it, that it's not protected in any way. So if you use it, it's going to ruin it at this point. So now I'm going to take... To make that protected, I'm going to take my Mod Podge again, and I'm going to spread it on top, whoops, a little much, <clears throat> on top again. And this is going to spread that ink around. Which is what I want. So I want that. I really love the <clears throat> aged look of these because I really I'm into vintage and shabby chics and things like that. So that's just something that I really really love. So now you have your two steps done. Actually, three if you <clears throat> you count the Mod Podge. First, you tear off the napkin backing and place, get it torn and place on top of your tile. And then the next step, and then put, let it dry. And then once it's dry, you're putting Mod Podge on it after you have put on a tea stain or walnut stain or whatever kind of ink stain you want on there. So now this is in its drying stage. So there's one and two. And next step this one is finished as far as the top part goes it's all it's been you know uh, mod podge stained and everything but now it needs this piece here on it and this piece is so easy to put on all you have to do and i have to tell you i am using a gorilla hot glue i love the gorilla glue i'm gonna go ahead and put some more in here this this uh this poor little fella has been through the mill, and it's not like it's that old. It's just that I have used it so much, you know. <laughs> it's just one of those things that I, I love using. And now I have two complete sets of coasters. Aren't they awesome? I love these things. These are going to be so pretty for Christmas. And I do rub that down good, and I do set let it set for a little bit before I I uh, use actually use it. But that needs to be in the curing stage right now for me. Uh, just I don't like to use them that day. You probably can because it is hot glue. Okay, now this first one is almost dry, but I won't be showing that how to do that because I showed you what to do on this one. So. Anyway, let me repeat the process. Get your tile, get your napkin, peel off the backing of the napkin, place it on here, use your water pen or something to get it wet around the edge so that you can pull it off easier. Then you put Mod Podge on top of your tile and place this on here and pat it down as good as you can. And again, I don't mind the little wrinkles and stuff 
if I wanted didn't want them, then I'd be more careful. But I like it because to me it just gives it an aged look. Then after that step, you go ahead and once that's dry, you go ahead and add some Mod Podge to it. And I use a sponge brush. You let that dry. Then the next step, of course, after you have done that, got it all dried up and everything, go ahead and add your tea stain to it wherever you want. If you want just on the edge or whatever, it, it will spread over. And if you don't have enough on it, you can add to it. And then go ahead and add your, your Mod Podge on it again. And then add your coaster backing. And that's all it is to it. So you'll, you'll have a set of awesome, gorgeous Christmas coasters. Whatever set you want. You don't have to use them again for Christmas. But this is a, my day two Christmas project. So thanks for watching. Make sure that you go and visit all the other designers. And uh, leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye-bye now.